It's about 20 to 10. We've had a journey down with our coach driver and he had like a, a TV show on for us, like a film documentary. documentary, which is quite good, which passed the time because it's about an hour and 10 minutes drive. But we're just waiting to go in. I'm not going to film anything in there, but um, we'll give you some thoughts when we're, when we're out maybe. Yeah, so we didn't really film any kind of reaction to our trip to, to Auschwitz. It was just it was just very intense. By the time we got back to the hotel after the coach or the taxi journey home, we just kind of crashed for a little bit and just needed to sort of decompress from the morning that we, we'd had already. So um, yeah, I've added a few snaps here. I know I said I wouldn't, but this is just the only pictures that I took. And um, next part is us going out to get some lunch. We're back in the main square. We've been to Auschwitz, done all that. Had a little rest up, had a little bit of a freshen up. It's half three. Ish. We're going to try and find this um, torture museum, aren't we? Execution. So let's go and see if we can find that. We've found the museum, so now we're going to go and try some more of the local delicacies at Hard Rock. I want to have pear tomorrow. Yeah, pear reggies. So uh, yeah, I think we just, again, left it too late to eat and we're actually starving. I'm obviously sitting at a nice fancy restaurant, just want to go and have something easy, get out some nachos and maybe another starter thing. Yeah. Then I'm going to go into that museum. Yeah. And this is how of the most banal, easy things that you can find everywhere. And make some Yeah. <laughs> to hurt <laughs> We went in the torture museum, didn't we? Mm -hmm. It was pretty intense because the lady followed us around and was yeah. the only person in there. So I took a few videos, but I didn't really do anything in there just because she was a bit intense. Yeah. I think she enjoys it all a little bit too much. She wanted to impart wisdom. I think she wanted to that impart torture. torture. We've just been into that church as well, again. I think it's this church of St. Peter. Yeah, so very very quiet and uh, didn't take any pictures or anything like that. Not allowed to, said no pictures. When has that ever stopped you? We found the Harry Potter cafe or the Harry Potter themed type cafe. We are queuing out the door so maybe we're going to try that another day. But we found the Pinball Museum so we're going to go and have a look in here. So we're not going in there either. It's a bit, a bit smelly if I'm being honest. Which I don't usually, it doesn't usually bother me because I've been to that Comic Con and things like that where. But it was underground, not ventilated. It was just a bit smelly, so we're not going to go in there. We've had a little bit of a rest up, yep. and now we're going to head up for some dinner. Got a feeling that I might get a tomahawk. <laughs> I think this is probably the cheapest place I can get. I think it's about 20 quid. That's every time I've ever looked before, it's about 80, isn't it? Yeah. So I'll show you a bit of like the walk there. So these are like the parks that are just seem to go. They the around the old town, don't they? Yeah. It's nice. We've come to a place called Moo Moo Steaks and Wine, which is just off of the main square. Kirsty found it. I quite like the name, so. We're going to try it. Nice. So I just had my first tomahawk at Moo Moo Steaks and Wine. I thought it was very nice. Yeah, really nice. Just 
big enough. I think any okay, another gram on top of that, I would have been done. <laughs> It was, it was 600 grams. It was 600. Like. There was a thousand. I thought, I don't need a kilo <laughs> of, of meat. I need... Just over half a kilo. <laughs> just over half a yeah. kilo. But yeah, a little bit stuffed now. Mm -hmm. We're going to go to the market, I think, yeah. to get something for dessert. Because the dessert menu was a bit limited. But Kirsty's got a bit of a, uh, a vista, so she's going to stick a plaster on and we're going to be off. I would probably say, if you wanted a nice meal, go there. It's just over our shoulder, over the top of Kirsty's head there. And what I'd do is spin around. Where is it? Yeah. And that there is the hard rock. So come down the side, if you're in the main square, come down the side of the hard rock into this little mini square. You'll see one there, which is called Beer, Beer Hall. And it's just literally there. I'd say walk past hard rock. I'm the biggest hard rock fan in our family, aren't we? So sort of, oh, yeah, we go, we go to them all over the place, but yeah. that one was just so average. We, we always make a point of going to them, don't we? But... Yeah, I, I would walk past Hard Rock every day to go there. So that's my recommendation. So I actually got it slightly wrong. So here's the big church. Behind us is the Harley Davidson. You go, so from the main square, come down there, first right. So where that white building is, chuck a white right, and it's just down there. So it wasn't quite close. We went past the, the uh, hard rock, which is just, there's like a little loop. You went two ways of getting to it. Hard rock is just the other side of this church. Hi, so we forgot to do a sign off for yesterday. It's now the next That's day, like obviously. That. Yeah, no. <laughs> so uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Thanks. And we're gonna pick up the next one here. So when you watch this next week, it's just literally just gonna be here. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Cheers guys, bye. 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 But yeah, so that's the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. What I have done is I've stuck a little bit of a blog here. So feel free to, to stay around. It's only a minute or so. I'm <laughs> sorry.